All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I know I already posted a video today, but I've been getting a bunch of messages, um, and I've just been made aware of the passing of the contest prep guru, Matt Porter. He also owned the company Matt Porter Approved, which several of my friends actually use a lot of those products. Um, so this guy, he was a really big name in the industry. And, you know, there's a post by his wife about half an hour ago um, on his Facebook page announcing and confirming um, his passing. So I'll read you guys some portions of this post, which, by the way, does go into some detail about how Matt actually passed away. So I guess a little um, forewarning for you guys there. Um, and just also as a side note, I mean, this was a very young guy. Um, I believe he was in his early 30s. And I already know, you know, the types of comments that a video like this is going to get. A guy in the bodybuilding industry passes away at a young age. Um, but I would just ask that you guys show a little bit of compassion for, you know, a young guy that lost his life and not immediately um, jump to those kind of comments. So the post reads, Matt Porter passed away this morning. Matt was the greatest man I've ever known. Lord and everyone else knows I'm not an easy person to deal with. Yet Matt Porter loved me wholeheartedly. Matt was patient and kind and loving through all of my anxiety. He was a selfless person. I wish I didn't have to write about this now or ever, but especially so quickly. Unfortunately, I called a few close personal friends, and it's upsetting to find out people can't handle keeping private matters private to give me some time to process. I hope if you have a loved one pass, others don't do this to you and give you time to let it sink in before people feel the urge to tell the world before I can even notify my close personal friends and family. I'm hurting more than ever now and have to face questions and messages from people I don't even know. So that's one thing I wanted to mention here. I saw several people post about this on Instagram and I wasn't going to make a video today because really all the information wasn't out. People were just posting that Matt had passed away. So I was waiting to make a video until there had been some official confirmation. And this post is pretty much as official as it gets. I mean, it basically tells everything. So the post goes on to say, to clear up any rumors that people want to start, here's what I know. I was with this man 20 to 24 hours a day. No one knows anything that I don't at this point. A few weeks ago, we returned home from the Emerald Cup and Matt didn't feel well. He said it felt like pneumonia again. He tried to see if he would get better for about a week and then decided to go into the doctor. They thought it was a very bad cold, so he went home. Days later, he wasn't well, but it was the weekend, so he went to quick care. The doctor pushed him off and said it was a bad cold, um, so he told them he felt off more than pneumonia, but they insisted he was fine, so Matt said he would go see the normal doctor that Monday. He went into his regular doctor, and they had him do a chest x-ray because of possible pneumonia. The x-ray came back inconclusive. They could not say he didn't have pneumonia or that he did at the time, but they did find what appeared to be a mass on his lung and needed more tests. He had a CT scan done later that week and we had not yet received the results. I spoke with his doctor after he passed and he said that he doesn't have them, but he would get them today. This morning, everything seemed normal. He was very tired. So after getting Noah and changing him, he went downstairs to make a shake like always, came up and went to the guest bedroom to sleep. He does this sometimes to get extra rest while I play with Noah until breakfast. He heard me in the playroom and came out to play with Noah. After playing with Noah and talking to me for a bit, he was texting on his phone and he was on his stomach and he reached out and said, Rachel, and started breathing oddly. I immediately recognized the stress and turned him over and called 911 and started compressions. I'm a small person, so it's not easy for me to compress. I know I did not compress him enough, which kills me. I wish we had a defibrillator, but we don't. I was screaming at the 911 operators to get them here um, and give our security codes, and our poor son was screaming in confusion and stress as well. The medics arrived and did what they could, but I knew he was gone. I couldn't hold no or do anything. I watched as they worked on him. They took him to the hospital, and my neighbor tried to give me hope, but I knew he was gone. It had still not fully sunken in. I have been home from the hospital only three hours now, and I'm already having to write this, which makes me angry and hurt. As all of you know, in 2015, Matt had health issues. In 2012, he had been going to the doctor and had blood pressure issues, but the doctor didn't want to prescribe anything. In 2015, we received a phone call that his dad wasn't well. And the post goes on to basically say the family had a history of health issues um, and also addiction. And then it says that Matt's drug of choice was bodybuilding. He didn't drink or smoke or do recreational drugs. So that is essentially all that I know about the situation. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been seeing all these posts on Instagram and all the rumors going around about him passing. Um, and as of now, I, it is confirmed that Matt Porter did pass away. So I'm very sorry for the family. Um, it's, it's very unfortunate to hear or see something like this anytime, you know, somebody 
at a young age passes away like this, it's sad to see, especially when it's someone that is a very prominent figure um, in this industry. So that wraps it up for the video today, guys. Just a update that I wanted to get out to you guys and make sure that people knew you know, what the facts were and just not the rumors that they were seeing on social media. So that's the video. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.